for me uh, i was never down i never ne- never down i mean because uh, throughout my life um, i faced struggles and i have seen uh, much worse situation which um, uh, made my mind made my uh, heart made my soul uh, i mean uh, resistant to all this uh, failures or uh, situations or uh, you know anything for that matter i've seen the worst i mean i've, I've seen insult i've come across that i've seen uh, uh, very very big challenges as a kid yeah you know uh, so uh, like to name a few i'll go to uh, my class so mm-hmm. when i go like my mother will pack the previous day food mm-hmm. so when it is spoiled you know as a mm-hmm. kid uh, sitting in uh, like five of five of the friends you know mm-hmm. it's very embarrassing yeah how to deal with that as a kid mm-hmm. so i dealt with that so so, mm, so yeah. i i just acted in front of them that i'm not hungry mm-hmm. and i went uh, to my class and sat so i i, I you know that time mm-hmm. uh, you know i thought i am able to solve the worst of the situation that gave you more strength uh, yeah more confident more strength and my shirt was school uniform was torn mm-hmm. my mother stitched it over here i remember in my shoulder mm-hmm. so uh, i feel everybody look at that stitching you know mm-hmm. i feel very odd very bad mm-hmm. but i used to keep my bag you know from mm-hmm. when i going from the school to the home mm-hmm. i used to have my bag and hide it and walk mm-hmm. so i thought okay there is a way to you know just uh, deal with it mm. and when i was made to stand outside the class for a week or 10 days mm. you know um, uh, like even though i was a first rank mm. so i said to myself that um, you know uh, okay i just motivated my mind uh, just sit, sitting inside the class and is it necessary to sit inside the class to score a first rank so mm. the answer came no so even by you know standing outside the class if i am able to score the same first rank then i'm proving myself to be great mm. so that um, motivated me and you know i i i just learned that with mind that we can deal with any kind of situation mm. like that and in my 10th standard there was till 10 there was no electricity and mm. i was scoring first rank with all mm. these challenges so you know obviously you will be down mm. you know you will be like saying what kind of life you are living you know so then i told myself uh, okay uh, something said me don't give up so i said okay then i just uh, used my mind and thought people with electricity my friends they could see everything you know uh, like uh, everything in their room yeah, even the book uh, they could hear the fan sound because power is there mm-hmm. you know they could hear the ac sound or uh, their mother will come uh with booster bonta because money is there mm-hmm. but you know me sitting in a hut with uh, just a uh, kerosene lamp uh, the lamp will give just uh, light for just one feet mm-hmm. no boost no bonita no tea coffee so you are saving some 20 minutes of your time mm-hmm. then there is no electricity so you, you just ha- can see your book nothing else so you are saving um, if you see the roof it's dark if you see the side it's dark mm. so you are saving another half an hour so i i took it in a positive way that uh, being poor is also advantages so use that to compete with them compete your light is dim but your concentration is much uh, stronger your time to read is much longer so don't worry you know so just compete just fight mm. that was the message i had it was really great you converted the audio minus into plus yeah <laughs> in the child to draw it so how did your family react to you when you told you are going to do this how did your family well, i was starting a podcast yeah i just uh, to my mother i said uh, before i mean my mother was working in uh, in a mid day meal scheme program she was mm-hmm. earning somewhere on 1500 2000 rupees that time mm-hmm. and uh, when i went to bid some um, Uh, i told her that uh, uh, like after 4 years all your sufferings will be mm. over i'll get a job and the moment i got a job it was like 25000 i got per month mm. in polaris uh, software lab so it's like almost 10 15 times jump in our uh, family income and i told my mother you don't have to work mm. but those two two years i worked and repaid all the debts taken for my college mm-hmm. and also i saved some money because i had this dream to go to mba mm-hmm. 
because in my final year of engineering i saw these people i wanted to do one mba start a company but i told my mother um, i wanted to be a uh, no i wanted to earn more mm. not just uh, 2 lakhs or 3 lakhs per year i want to earn like uh, 30 lakhs 40 mm. lakhs 1 crore 2 crore i just told her that mm. and she was okay okay and uh, you know my mother was not behind money but what i am saying is just to uh, to my mother to everyone i said like that so that's the reason i'm quitting my job because that's a very good well paid job uh, that point of time so i told them and then when i went there uh, but i was very sure that i have to start a company you know like when i go to uh, uh, like uh, after uh, passing out of uh, mm-hmm. i am so i went when i went there uh, i was just looking around and uh, then uh, i i made up my mind it was not easy you know yeah. when your family income is zero yeah. and uh, you are living in a hut yeah. to uh, to not take up a big job you know